Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload your custom images in Theme Park Tycoon 2. So first off, obviously, we need to like get an image panel because that's like where you get images. And so we're going to be going down to search. We're going to search up in that's an O image imager. Yeah, I'm going to just be using one of these normal ones like this. And we're just going to place one like right there. I think that's a good place for an image. We're going to be going online actually and online like on Google or something. You can search up your own image and upload it to roblox okay so here we're gonna go into google and we're gonna search up whatever you want i'm gonna search up zombie you can do any images you want i want a zombie and i want the background to be clear so if you want the background of your images to be clear you want to go search up whatever you want zombie and i'm gonna put zombie and then i'm gonna type p and g we can go to images and then we can start looking at our zombie images now to know that it is transparent there needs to be these little boxes in the background and it needs to come from google some of the images like these these ones the boxes are already there if the boxes are there before you click on it then it is not transparent in the background so this one the boxes weren't there and it is transparent in the background so we're gonna be grabbing this image right click on the image we're gonna save the image and just name it whatever you want I'm gonna save it as zombie one and then now we're going to go onto our Roblox we're gonna go to create and in create right here we're going to be going down to our decals so go to my creations and decals and now here we're gonna choose our fire we're gonna go file and then go to your file that you just barely made so i'm gonna go to downloads and mine is in zombie one and i'm just gonna take out the one for that just because i don't really want the one and sometimes if you put numbers in these it won't let you put it now we've got our zombie image here we're gonna press on that and we're gonna go up here and copy our id that we have for the zombie this is usually what i do there are a couple other ways to do it but this is what i do this id right here that you see just grab this id that you see up here in the link when you click on your image and then we're gonna go back here to our image right here we're gonna go to change and then add by id just paste in your id that you just just barely got and boom wait we're waiting oh and zombie right there enable transparency we're gonna set to yes so then the background is all clear and boom we've got a cool little image now this image we can grab and we can actually put it anywhere we want so we can just put it here and it pastes the same image anywhere you want so i don't want it there anymore i want it here so that's like a plants versus zombies thing and i think that looks pretty cool if you don't want to upload your own image you can go here to free decals and search up anything you want i'm gonna search up zombie let's see if we find a zombie okay i found the exact same zombie that i just barely had but i just searched it up here so we're gonna go to that zombie and it's the almost the exact same zombie and we have the same thing and this is a lot easier so before you search it up on google make sure you search it up here and if it's here and it's so much easier than if you were to do it on google and you can also make your custom image in like photoshop or something that's going to be your choice you can do that in photoshop and do the exact same thing that i did for google all you do is export your image and upload it to roblox again okay i'm actually going to change my decal to like a warning sign where let's see a warning sign okay i found a little warning sign boom we have a warning sign now now i'm gonna put a little frame on it so we'll we'll grab a little frame let's see we're gonna grab the image and i'm gonna search up pole and i'm gonna grab a primitive pole like this one and i'm gonna go to this very edge right here and make it a lot smaller like this a lot smaller and then i'm just gonna place the pole and i'm i'm gonna extend the pole to the top place that go to the other side place that rotate it and then go a little up again and then shift it to the side and place that now we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom and place now what should we paint this i feel like we should paint this like a black color let's see if black works yeah i guess black works pretty well there and boom we now have a little frame like this it looks pretty cool and if you don't want people to be able to walk through it all we have to do is come here to this make this super thin and then just extend this all the way oh it doesn't extend we're gonna grab one of these walls we're gonna rotate it to this side we're gonna make it the thinnest it possibly will get to and now we're gonna grab this and extend it all the way to the bottom right there kind of like that and we're gonna paint that black and boom we have a backside now we have a little thing right here it looks pretty cool that is basically how you upload your custom images i hope this helps everybody out there if you want some more help make sure to go join my discord these are pretty helpful videos and if you want tutorials you can go down and subscribe and there are tutorials down there that you can watch it'll help you guys i promise thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you guys in the next one